Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. Right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Business here. Guess that's right. Pod. Not again. If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. <laughs> when I bust out of here, I'll give that damn shit. You going after Lindsay Waffle? I, look like the I might be. I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall.
them with your own kindness kind sir will you help the poor i so kind yes you are sir you have it in you i can tell i'm a nasty bit of work father you're wrong on two counts sir i'm a humble brother a penitent monk not a priest and you're a magnificent bit of work you may have made some some poor choices but which of us hasn't <laughs> you have no idea but you do and god does and that's enough for me and for him we shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I'd really appreciate it if you take a look. Glad to see you again. What are you two? Excuse me. Fresh picked vegetables. Come and get them. What can I get you today? Sinsang, Neho. Excuse me. Look out. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? much back there I'm afraid of just a, a few old books something don't seem right sir uh, what are you doing back there who's back here looks like this pulls out or something pulls out no it's just an old bookcase uh, seen better days I must how about you open that door door what door the hidden door or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. But they, they forced me to do it, sir. I swear. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Gracias, señor. 
muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now, I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Welcome back. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. We found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Wash it! What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Mm. There's plenty of real booze here. Yeah. But for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy. Roads. Maybe that last dream wasn't a good idea. Every time. Is M mm, 
por favor. Howdy, mister. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! These kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Oh, God, please, no! <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help.
Challenge, Father. When I was younger, Mr. Morgan. Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine physically, mentally he's a piece of work. But who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is. Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkin called him.
I'll take that, pal. The law needs to hear about. Yeah. Damn. Thank you.